In the beginning, you will be lonely, but your goal is to be alone. Going from being with someone to being alone is not an easy transition. You surrender yourself to the emptiness and countless thoughts of the person you were and the person you were with. I know it's difficult to see someone you still may love disappear from your life, but you were alone before them and you will be alone after them, and that is okay. This doesn't apply for everyone. There are the people that have always been alone and feel that loneliness. Like life would be complete if they had someone to spend it with. As a society, we glorify the idea of being in a relationship or having that special someone or the one. And if you don't, something is wrong with you. It honestly is empty headed. We base these off of social media and other outlets we see in our everyday lives. Now I'm not saying it's all negative being in a relationship, but a lot of these people showing off their relationships on the internet are not going to show the fights or disagreements. The intensity of these confrontations vary from couple to couple. People today are not what they were 20 or 30 years ago, and I don't want to sound like an old ass, but people had more dignity and self-respect back then. Relationships lasted much longer because of that. The involvement of the internet has made temptation a lot easier for people. I think the people who haven't gotten to experience being with somebody don't really know what they're getting themselves into yet. Because they fiend for that other person, they don't, they don't understand yet once they have somebody and actually understand what it's like to be in a relationship. It's a lot of work and attention and a lot of it is driven by jealousy and security and by people's egos. I think real love does exist, but it just it takes a lot of work from both people to actually be invested into something and actually want something to work in order for it to actually succeed. And I guess a lot of people just feel lonely because as humans, we want that acceptance. We want that love from somebody else. And I've heard that I've heard studies that you want the love that your parents give you when you were little. So if you were neglected and your parents mistreated you or let's say if they did give you a lot of love, you want the same love that you felt as a child from your parents. So let's say if you find something good and you were neglected as a child, you know, you're not going to want that thing good because it doesn't feel familiar to you, which is crazy. There's so many factors that play into this and it just seems like a lot of work. And I know a lot of people feel lonely and like they're alone and like they're never going to find anybody to be in their life when that's not even the case. I just think it's a matter of taking time to yourself and actually enjoying your alone time for the time being, especially if you're young. It's not a priority right now. But I know that being with somebody else definitely makes life a lot more enjoyable and brings you more happiness than when you're alone. Some people like their loneliness, but for me at least, I felt like that happiness that you experience when you're with somebody is something that you can cherish more, especially when you see it everywhere. It's like, fuck. You go to Walmart and you see the cholos there with their highness and you think to yourself, shit, I want that. But in order to get that, you know, you have to put yourself out there. You have to date people. But the whole idea of dating and stuff is kind of a pain in the ass. Having to repeat your philosophies to people you don't know over and over and over again until you find somebody that is compatible with you is kind of a bitch. But if you're determined, I think you guys will find somebody. They call me Sometimes that loneliness is needed because you actually take the time to reflect on some personality traits or something else that you may be battling inside negative shit that you do in your everyday life that you need improvement on you know or maybe sometimes people have tried to talk to you about it or maybe they don't but either way in your head you're like nah that couldn't be me but you'd be surprised you could be saying and doing some negative shit and you don't even realize it that time alone gives you the time to be able to see and reflect on the shit you have said before or things you have done that you might not have noticed were toxic because in your head you're always a good person so for those who feel lonely, don't. It's not all fun. Someone worth your energy will come one day. Just be patient for now. People today are very deceptive and manipulative, some even selfish. Not all are like that, but the vast majority are. And as time goes on and you start to see more people, you will pick up on the same negative behavior. So when you feel lonely, actually remind yourself what the world is and how people are. My time alone has given me the opportunity to find myself again. Now I know that sounds cliche, but sometimes your interests and things you find interesting change from the people you're with. You learn to love and adapt to activities that your significant other loved. So transitioning to your old habits and hobbies may sometimes seem impossible or they are not as interesting as you found them before. Take the time to really find out what you like and what you want to do and how you want to do it. Use this time to improve yourself as a person. Everyone has negative qualities that they carry around with them. Perfection is beyond the bonds of possibility, but alleviating those negative traits will make you feel all in all a better person. Don't try to conceal these lonely feelings with temporary gratification like drugs, alcohol, and sex. You can change this energy, but it is solely up to you. But with discipline and restriction, you can accomplish anything.
You now have the freedom to do as you please and answer to no one. You no longer have to stress if someone is neglecting your trust or doing something behind your back. You can enjoy your time alone without worries. We obviously will continue to have stresses throughout our lives, but for the most part, they are things we can control and overcome with time. Use this time and enjoy it with your family and friends. They will always be there for you when others are not. When you get emotionally involved with other people, you forget about them and stop prioritizing your time with them. The love you have for your family, your pets, and your friends will always be real love. Even in the worst moments, they will be there, so take time to appreciate them, because they may not be here forever. If you cannot walk alone, you have no time to reflect and grow. Focus on your craft and being successful, continuing to chase your dreams, and never losing sight of what is really important. Become what you want to attract and it will come. Eventually, that real love that you strive for will be here and they will get to experience the best version of yourself possible.